Hello my quilting friends! Welcome to this quilting video. You can see I am stitching a cool new design called Brick Stitch. And how this is quilted is you first start with a row of evenly spaced rectangles. And really your starting row kind of sets the stage for everything. And each row after that is more or less a duplicate of the one before. So here you can see I'm stitching up and over and down and I try and aim to hit the middle of the square or rectangle before. So I'm trying to aim right for the middle as I stitch down into it and then travel stitch across the top and then back up. And when I'm stitching up, I try more or less to keep this in a nice straight line. So it's just slow, steady stitching. When I get to the edge, when I was stitching this row, I was really looking at this row. Now I'm going to pay attention to this row right here. So I'm looking one, you know, basically two rows down to kind of have a visual guide. And so I know I'm going to stitch over and aim for roughly the middle of that brick before and then back up. So there is a lot of visual estimation. You just have to kind of eyeball it. If this is a struggle for you, and you can't really see the design, take out a marking pencil and mark it. Mark some straight lines. That'll keep your rows of bricks evenly spaced across the top. And then you can also mark uh, the bricks themselves. If you needed to mark out the spaces that they're gonna take up, that would be fine too. Um, this is one of those things that I know I, sh I could not have stitched this. I could not have quilted this when I first got started, but with just the amount of practice and really more than anything else it's just being able to visualize and see space in stitches and that's what I'm good at now after doing this for so long and so that's why I don't really have to mark this I can freehand it and still end up with roughly equally spaced and equal height bricks. Now this being said kind of the reason why I wanted this not to be marked is I wanted it to look a little imperfect. I wanted these to look like maybe they were kind of um, a little wobbly. Some of the bricks down here are a little bit more angled on the sides. I like that human element. I like it to look not quite exactly perfect. Uh, and that's what appealed to me with designing this design. And I think that we've caught it. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed learning this new design with me today definitely check out my website at leahday.com to find tools, materials, and books that I've written about free motion quilting on your home machine. Check it out at leahday.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.